This is the stupidest take I've seen on this Bluebird app. Smash some events have been going on for a while now. Most of us know how it works. Certain amount of people get invited. A couple players can make it through a qualifier tournament. Then you can nominate players to get invited. Once past the nomination phase, you can vote for players. You get votes by buying stuff in the shop. After a few rounds of invites and eliminations, you have a full 16 player invitational. The money raised through the shop goes to the prize pool, covering the cost of the event and paying staff. Apparently, that last point pissed people off. The team for Beyond the Summit is absolutely amazing. They provide the best production value in the entire Smash scene. Their tournaments constantly break records for largest prize pool, no thanks to Nintendo. They are full of amazing sets, fun side events, entertaining skits, and so much more. These tournaments bleed personality, and I can easily say the team here provides the best viewer experience out of any tournament I've watched. I want these people to make money. I want more summits to happen. I've hosted plenty of tournaments in my life, and I can say, losing money by putting them on sucks. Using your brain a little bit, you should realize having your scenes tournament organizers making money is a good thing. Let's face it, you aren't going to get rich off hosting some fighting game tournaments. But if I go to a local or a regional event and the staff ends up leaving the tournament with an extra $100 in their pocket, I'm happy for them. If they're going through the effort to run tournaments for whatever game it is, it isn't going to be for monetary gain. It's because they love the community. Because they love the community, I bet you that $100 will end up going to something to make future events even better. There is a lot of moving parts to a tournament. At the base level, you need setups, at least one per game you are running. You need a laptop or tablet to run the bracket. I use a cash box to keep all the tournament venue money in the prize pool safe. If you want to stream the event, you're going to need a streaming computer and a capture card. Maybe you move around venues a lot. A lot of venues have terrible internet, or maybe internet that you're not even allowed to use, so you'll have to invest in a hotspot. There's also the cost of the actual venue. The list just goes on and on. TOs. Don't be afraid to make money off your events. You put in the hard work. Buy yourself some half-off apps and a Long Island from Applebee's afterwards. I'm sure you are doing everything you can to host the best tournament you can. With you, there is no scene. Losing money doesn't gain you some invisible FGC street cred. Do what's best for you and for the scene. That was just a little rant I needed to record. If you like to listen to it, consider dropping a like and commenting below. It helps the channel a lot. If you really like the content, Subscribe. I try to upload FGC content as often as I can. I don't really have a schedule. It's hard to keep up with all this stuff, but helps the channel a ton. Thanks for watching till the end.